Well, first snow 2015, light powder. We tried it out here today. It wasn't packed enough to give me the grip, and we have to change the tire, change the skis, and we'll see you next time. Next snow. Traded this for the snow scooter, Snow Rabbit. We have a new unit going out to uh, you guys at snowrabbit.com. I'm just using these parts to make our extension for the roller cycle. Now that's going to fit into here somewhat. This is just for a test to see if this is going to work. So I plan on making a seat, taking off the whole front end of the scooter, making a seat back here a little bit further so you can actually lean down and press the track into the snow and stand in front of it so you get the whole same feeling of a roller cycle being pushed in the snow instead of this steering you in the snow. Then you'll have your own skis to steer yourself. Two cotter pins to take it off, that's it. One, right there. It's also the tool for tightening the chain. It just lifts up. Now, this is the part I want to work with. This is going to be my roller cycle. Try to do as simple as possible. So I can try it. We have this piece here. That's how similar how it's got to go. I'm just trying to think of the angle I'm going to want to be at. And this is how you do it. You hold things in place, you stand in front of it, and you get creative. I could stick it this way. Okay, this can still connect to the seat. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. And I got just enough play for the outside of this. Right now. Get my pen. In there. Once that's welded on here, rested on there, I can't see it going anywhere. I think I'm going to get it back over the top of this, right there. Clean it off. And you got to do this crap. What I'm trying to do is spot it. Just what I was looking to do. I got control. Now into my own body instead of using a front assembly. I think this is going to be strong enough.
First ride. The life of a mad scientist. So the first test, we got it, we got it to work, it took us one afternoon, welded a few pieces together, we get this concept with the, bait, the belt. We have a belt drive, and we never had that before with a roller cycle. The roller cycles, anything that pushes you on skates, skis, snowboards, whatever. So I'm thinking longer skis give me a little more control and a little more stability. And might want to make it back a little bit further. Actually, I think I just need a little practice to get it centered where I want it so the belt's really going. This feels like it's going to rock. I don't know, it's flying. See you tomorrow. I heard a big snap on Mike. Was that your ski or the? the... That was the. the uh... well, it's... It was the plastic drive chain. Oh. Assembly. All right, you officially broke 
prototype number that, one. Greg, it's got a lot of torque on it, man. If I got the right spot, yeah. I can go fast enough on this motor and drive train. Oh, right. Man, but you know what I mean? It's got, it's got honestly, plastic parts on it. It's got a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of little ditches you were in and back. Yeah. If you're going to yeah, make something, just can't you do a heavy duty track? I can't, I mean, if, but, gonna, if, if I was this. more back, it wouldn't have been forced up. Yes. Because my center of gravity, I would have kept it. Yeah. Oh, snappy, and not man. bring it like this. Yeah. yeah. Bring it back further. I would have had control. Off we go. <laughs> Another episode of Roller Cycle. <laughs> oh. Hey, at least it worked. That's how America was built. Yeah, man. All right, we made it today to our first tryout with the Roller Cycle Personal Power Accelerator for skis. And we have a belt system. We strapped it on. I was able to go maybe 18 miles an hour in this heavy, packed slush. So this is tryout one. We're going to move the center of gravity back. By the next time, I'm going to be flying, surfing through these heavy stuff like this with ease. It's just a matter of a few adjustments. Shorten it a little bit, moving it back, getting my center of gravity. Maybe even have two belt drives. In our tryout today, we broke this, I don't know if it's fiberglass, but it is uh, where the chain would ride and the chain tightener. So that was our only problem. And it is one piece in here that has to be replaced. I might have to do it out of aluminum, see what that would cost. And maybe have two belt drives. Use the same chain shaft down to the, the chain which runs the paddles and have two of them. Yeah, man, that'll rock. <laughs> see you next time. Yeah, our gas tank fell off last time. <laughs> so I'll try on error just to get to see if it works. And from what it feels like in this heavy snow, it works. Round two. This is our second shot today in the snow day here in March. Okay, I made a track around the property with the quad because the snow is so deep and it's heavy that I had to do a track first. But now I'm going to be able to rock through this. All right, here we go, out into the snow. <laughs> oh, shit. into the field. We'll see what I can do out there.
speed the track, it might work better. And there is a whole schoolyard that's flatter, okay. less resistance, right over the edge. We'll try it if it works All good. Right, go, go ahead, I'll follow you. Woohoo! <laughs> this is a whole new sport. <laughs> Awesome. It was awesome. I don't think I have to tweak much more. Just make it look pretty. And we got something. <laughs>